Oh yeah, dude, these new sights. Freaking love them, man. You can see so good. Gosh dang, man, I can't wait to shoot them. Sorry about that, man. Oh my, mm. dude, what are you wearing? What, what are you talking about, dude? What is that? Are what, you... my underwear? Yeah. Dude, what? What the hell? What? That's... What? Dude, where did you even get those? AdamandEve.com, dude, where I get all my freaking underwears, bruh. God, actually, it just so happens that they are the sponsor for today's video. I appreciate it, Adam and Eve. You know why I like these guys so much? They've been in business for over 45 gosh dang years. 24-7 customer service and 90-day no-hassle returns. Dude, I could freaking wear these sons of dicks right there. I could maybe poop on it a little bit. Oh, I'm just playing with you, man. Nobody's that disrespectful. And this is the craziest thing. 20% of their profit goes to help the fight of HIV around the gosh dang world, man. If you guys want to get something for your special lady, or maybe even something for you, if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> check out adamandeve.com, the leading website in your sex toys and lingerie. You gotta see that with a whisper voice. Sex toys and lingerie. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, man, this is the perfect website for getting your special lady or even, you know, something for you two to splash it up in the bedroom a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And this is the greatest discount code I've ever given, y'all. Use the code OUTLAW at checkout and get 50% off. That's 5-0. 50% off of one item and free shipping in the U.S. and Canada, bruh. That's all you gotta do, man. Link's in the description box. Thanks to Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's video. Let's go shoot some guns. Hello? Elk season's here, baby. Time to pull out the old black powder. That's right, muzzleloader season. Yes, sir. Now, this is very last minute because my muzzleloader hunt is on, today is Wednesday. My muzzleloader hunt should start on Saturday, but I can't until Sunday. So we've got just a couple days to get everything dialed in. Now, I ain't shot this muzzleloader since Kentucky, all right? So it's up in here. Let's go ahead and pop this some dick open. This is my, TC Pro Hunter X, all right? So I haven't shot this some dick. This is an inline muzzle loader, one of the new guys. Pops open, cap goes in there. Obviously, load it from the muzzle. Now, this has a scope on it. It's a little different over here in Colorado. You cannot hunt with a scope, and you cannot hunt with pellets right there, okay? So you have to measure on powder, and you have to hunt with iron sights, which I, I knew the powder pellet thing. I didn't know about the scope thing until like last minute. So in-law and I were kind of freaking out because I had to go out. Nobody carried any. So I had to get some on Amazon. Thank the Lord uh, it got here overnight. But we got some Muzzle Bright by True Glow that we're going to throw on here really quick. Take this guy off and uh, get this thing going. Also, it snowed. You know what? Come here. It freaking snowed, man. It's freezing right now. It's like 31 degrees. <sighs> this is the earliest snow that I could probably remember. So with that being said, it's not gonna be all fun and dandy whenever we try to go uh, sight this thing in, just make sure she's on. Um, we've got a 100 yard range uh, down the road that I haven't been to, but we're gonna try that out. So let's go ahead and take this guy off here. It's a loophole scope. Get these rings off. And then we got this plate here, which I'm gonna have to get some star keys for. And then we did have this guy up top, which I'll go ahead and take that off. I've got the water running upstairs in the uh, bathtub because we're gonna give this thing a quick wash down. Well, that looks like a whole new rifle right there, man. Just gotta take this guy off and then we'll probably wait to put our sights on once it's clean. Best way to clean these things, man, soap and water. Okay, got the rear off and now I'm gonna open this breech which ain't been opened in oh, quite a while. There we go. Oh yeah, little little corrosion on there even, dude. Man, look at that though. See, that's no bueno. I should have cleaned this last time. We're about to blast this thing and get it clean. We're gonna go take it to the tub. Let's go. Okay, in the bathroom, my only tub that works. Everything else is, uh, I got the ramp cleaning ramrod here. I bought like a, aftermarket one with a big handle on it, a heavy duty one for 50 caliber. And then on the end of this, I've got a thick, like a copper wire brush. And then I've got a little softy there. Oh boy, thank you in-law. Mm -hmm. Just let that on the ground. 
Got some uh, barrel blaster there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this breech plug out and I'm gonna just like set this. This is soapy water right here. That's all it is. We just put some Ajax in there and some water and it's warm. Ooh, it's actually really warm. And just, just gonna soak all this stuff here. You know, maybe this probably wouldn't be the greatest thing if you have like a, you know, an old wood one or whatever. It's probably better to, to, um, do it the, the normal way. I had some weird white stuff on the barrel, I don't know. I really do like this rifle, but I swear that's not mine. All right, so I'm just taking this, I'm going back and forth, but I'm just breaking up all of that crap in there with this big heavy brush. Dude, I'm starting to see those lines in that barrel again. That is just beautiful. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's sexy. Then I'm gonna take my little brush here and I'm gonna get these threads really good right here. Clean up that bri or, uh, breech plug real good. Get all those rough spots off. After I got it all cleaned up, I put some Ajax on there. Look at that, man. Nice and shiny again, all purdy. All right, here we go. Back at the cleaning station here. So got my little pad here, keep everything clean. I've got some part soaker here that I use um, just from CVA. It's just anything is pretty good, but I've got the breech plug in there, sitting in there all nice like that. So we're letting that soak. And then I do have these rust prevent pads. So what I like to do whenever I take that out is I'll just take one of these and go around those threads and then go up in here really nice. Um, just so that doesn't happen again where there's some rust marks on there and then these are the uh quick uh clean pads so these guys right here oh smells like some snooze or something like that it's like we're doing a snooze review mm. just wait till you see this pad take a look at that yeah man pretty nuts okay so put a bunch of patches in there as you can see this is our first patch here second third fourth fifth put some dry patches in there too and then this is our last one which is uh, pretty clean and then what i'm going to do is take a rust prevent patch and i'm just going to run one or two through there and then we are ready to load our black powder up bullets we're ready to shoot so we went with the true glow muzzle bright it's kind of like a universal we're all in line we'll see I haven't heard any like bad reviews on it or anything. So I'm hoping this works because this is our last resort to make it work to where maybe we can shoot out to 100 yards with irons. Be awesome. True glows are on. There she blows, ladies and gentlemen. This looks good. It'll be more like this. 295 grain copper power belts. And then we've got our black horn here. We've got our primers in there somewhere. This is a uh, Blackhorn 209. This is our measuring device. You want like an actual measuring device. I think this one's by Traditions or something like that. I have my little funnel here that I just made out of piece, like a little piece of paper. I'm getting to 100 grains. Do this over a bowl here so we don't spill any. And somebody lights a match and something goes a little crazy. That's 100 grains. Now these are your little cartridges that you take with you hunting. So we're gonna go ahead, get that in there. Like this one reads just a little bit different than this one, but this is the one that I trust. Making loads, baby, we making loads. I feel like I'm a breaking bat or something right now. Everything is clean. You guys gotta check this out in the camera, dude. Look at that cleanliness right there. That is a clean gun. Put that breech plug back in. Oh yeah. She's snug, buddy. This is the uh, Thompson Center um pro hunter x or fx i think it might be i've had this for quite a long time and we just got these true glows on here which they look really good red green we're going to take her to the range tomorrow and see how she shoots we're all set up at the range it's loaded we just need the cap waiting for target time to go put our targets down there 50 and 100 make sure we're all dialed in for elk season Got the new True Glows on there. Give it a couple shots, see how she goes. Weather's a lot better today. It's like 50 degrees, cloudy, good lighting. So, it's gonna be good, man, I'm excited. Lights are on, range is cold, go on down. Your target is keep in mind that the crowd's bed, yellow. All right, dude. Lights are on, range is high, make this where you continue your recoil therapy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Feels so much better. Oh, 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 paper. Just pull it. You're a man. You did it to a hundred. To the right of it. Yeah. Beautiful. Ready? Yep. Right. Well, the ring of nine and ten. Uh, bottom right. Yeah. Hundred. We're a little low. Swing your. Ten ring left. Good shot. I I couldn't talk much when we were at the range. There was a bunch of people shooting and crap, but I was focused on getting her done. I shot uh, four rounds at first, and I couldn't even hit paper at fifty. So I was like, "What the heck, man? I must need to bore sight this thing <clears throat> with at least the new uh, the new sights. They looked pretty good." And then he bore sighted it, and he's like, "Dude, it was shooting like super high." And uh, then my eye relief was like so much better once he did that. Bam, bullseye, baby. So we shot it out to a hundy. We good. It'll kill an elk, man. Dude, this thing is so light. I love it. I love how good it feels. We're back home now. Holy dick. Back home. We just got back home now. I'm just getting a little. This is my bush stick. This, the bush smoke pole right here, man. This guy, yeah, I love it. I probably will put my sling back on so I can have some some loads and everything just in case ready. I will have them on my person, of course, but this thing just like, I love it. Dude. Looks so much better because when we were at the range, like just just having the, the coverage and stuff made it hard to see as well. Plus I didn't bring yellers, so I had to wear these sons of dicks and they're a little bit darker, but we shot good, man. So this guy is getting ready to go to elk season. You know what, man, let me prop this up here and I, I've got some trail cam pictures. Check this out right here. This is, uh, this is one of the bulls we're going after. This right here is a beautiful bull. Like, just beautiful. He's a, he's a little crazy, too, on his left side here. Here's him. This is him. Same bull. Coming in, bugling. Freaking the other day on the trail camera in the snow when it snowed here yesterday. So that was, or uh, no. Yeah, yesterday. So he was there in the morning and then he's there right at dark too so it seems like it's going to be happening either really early or late but you never know it's it's like it's they're starting to rut man so it's crazy and then check him out here right here check this guy look at that man freaking beauty super long brow tines it's insane that one is i don't know what in the tits is going on man the freaking air force is out today they're all over the place god dang so we've got a couple bulls on our hit list if you guys might be asking why'd you take your scope off all that kind of stuff in the state of colorado where i am elk hunting uh you can't have scopes and you can't use pellet powder so you got to do your own loads and you have to have iron or open sights so this thing is 100 percent legal ready to go once i get an elk man this is why i hunt a lot man this is why i hunt a bunch of different species i like to have options because we don't buy beef like we do not buy beef uh we don't buy meat at the store or anything like that here we eat what we kill so if i kill one whitetail we try to make that whitetail last the whole season luckily i've never had just one animal but if we can get an elk if we can get a whitetail possibly a mule deer and an antelope that's four different species of animals that that is just like puts us over perfect for the year so it started off with the elk we've already been antelope we antelope hunted two days and it didn't go very well it was hot but hopefully we'll kill that elk and then get back out there for antelope 
So we got a lot of hunting to do, man. So stay tuned here at Outlaw Outdoors, baby. Hit subscribe. We doing it good, baby. And we got this gosh dang freaking flow going, bro. Also, one last thing. New song, Land of the Free, is out now everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, wherever you can find music. And it's on my Outlaw channel, uh, which is in the description box as well. We're having fun, man. The world's a crazy place right now. But we're making sure we're making the best out of it. That's what you guys should do as well. My name's Outlaw, and I'm out, y'all. This has been Outlaw Outdoors. We'll see you on the dip side. Holler.